Welcome back to our show. We already, we already put Ed in isolation, and he's going to charge. And Sabrina, you're going to block, so please place your blocks. Okay, Matt. Well, I'd like to start with a block at level 130. Level 130. Uh, level 120. Level 120. Um, I'd like to skip to level 3. And you can do that. Uh, level 340. Level 340. Level 350. Level 350. You have two blocks remaining. All right, I like to do level 440. Uh, level 440. And then level 6, I'd like to do 350. 350. And in the event of a long shot, uh, where would you like your long shot block? 500. $500. Okay. All right, get Ed back in here. Let's welcome Ed back to the show. All right, Ed. Ed, I got to remind you, you didn't watch the clock enough. You got to call a long shot when time is running low, okay? Let me put the clock in there, then I don't know. You can do that. Okay. Awesome. Now, you know how it works. You have to win this round. This is it. This is do or die here. So, given me... The level and the dollar amount. Charge. Level 150. 150. The card game of 21 is also called blackmail. Black Charge. Level 250. 250. Betty Boop saying I want to be loved by you. Love. Charge. Level 320. 320. In the Wizard of Oz, Dorothy had to follow the yellow green toad. Rick Ray. Charge. 420. 420. Steve Urkel with the character on Green Matters. Family Matters. Charge. 550. 550. And the standard deck of cards, the wild card is the Toker. Joker. Let's go all the way. 6500. 6500. In the movie, Harvey Stimmy Stewart sees a pink elephant. A rabbit. You won! Yeah. 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 Woo! And that was an amazing job. You've won the game. Thanks. And let's say goodbye here. Let's have one nice hand for Sabrina over here. What we're going to do here is that we're going to take another commercial break. When we come back, it's going to be the Gauntlet of Villains for $25,000. Okay, Ed, you have won the game, so you're going to play the Gauntlet of Villains for $25,000. Oh. And now, Ed, I would like to introduce you to 10 of the most egregious egomaniacs that have ever stood between a Crayola man and his money. And here they are. Yeah. 